Now, we read here about this angel. He had in his hand a little book open. In other words, this strong angel has a little book. And he set his right foot upon the sea and his left foot upon the earth. And he cried with a great voice as when a lion roareth. And when he cried, the seven thunders spoke their own voices. The little book also causes some division among us brethren that we don't scrap over it because it's, we do not think an essential. But could we identify the little book? Well, there are several reasons that I feel that it is the seven-sealed book, simply because that's the only book that's been before us. And it's not identified in any other way than it's called a little book. And frankly, there is a little different word used here for book instead of the word biblos that is used for the other book. But that would not preclude the possibility of it being the same book. In fact, we have no reason to think it might be any other and have, I think, every reason to believe that it is. Now, we find here that this little book then, if it is the same, it was originally in the hands of the Father in heaven. That's in Revelation 5.1. We've already seen that. And it should be noted how it is first transferred to the nail-pierced hands of God the Son. It was given to the Lord Jesus. He's the only one that could open this book. And it's now opened because the opening of the seven seals that opened the book, and this is still part of what's in the book, the seven trumpets, and six trumpets have been opened already. And then the Lord Jesus Christ, after he removes the seals, he in turn transfers it to the angel who gives it finally to John to eat. 